If you're struggling to feed yourself or your children right now, that is not an uncommon thing. You are not doing anything wrong and there are solutions. So let's talk about it. We're first going to start with items that do not need to be refrigerated or microwaved. There are no plates. There is no cleaning up to do at all. These are going to be when you're at your lowest capacity and you still need to get yourself or other people fed. I like to keep things in my bin that are going to be high in protein, but they're also safe foods. There are things that I can eat no matter how badly I'm feeling. There are certain foods that are very difficult for me, and this is not going to be a time where you're going to want to stretch yourself. Just get a bunch of things that are easy for you or for your family. Some ideas for bin number one would be single serve peanut butters. You can do pop tarts. You can do cereal in a bag. You can do protein bars, chips crackers. You can do anything that you want that's going to fill you up or fill up your kids and make you feel as satisfied as possible. I also like to keep rubber bands or clips in my bin so that if anything is opened and needs to be shut, it's easy to do. Everything stays fresh. I also think peanut butter sandwiches are great to add to the arsenal. Those keep very well if you put them in an airtight container. And then also don't forget your drinks. I always have my emotional support water bottle, but you can also put any kind of drinks that you want in your bin and then you're set. This first option is great for when you are having a hard time getting out of bed or off of the couch and your mobility is just very affected. You need to have snacks that are close by. Number two option is going to be adding in some refrigerated options. So these are things like deli meat. You can add in cheese, yogurt, fruit trays, vegetable trays, things that are, again, not time intensive. You can simply pull this out of the refrigerator and get going, but that are going to really fill you up and make you feel like you're not missing out. If you have all of this and you add in everything from choice number one, you have a lot of options here. The next tray I want to show you is if you're feeling well enough to be able to A, get stuff out of the refrigerator, but B, also microwave. Pancakes and waffles can be microwavable. There are oatmeals, there are muffins, cakes. There are so many microwavable options right now. I am also very big into Amy's frozen meals because there are several of them that I can eat no matter how I'm feeling. They're very safe foods for me. And I also get steamable vegetables because for me, I don't even have to get another bowl dirty. I can steam the vegetable. I can add butter, seasonings, whatever I want to add, stir it up, and then it's good to go. I can just serve it from there. And it really helps me get extra servings of vegetables in when I am still at a pretty low capacity. So those are a few of the tricks that I use to keep myself and my family eating when I am really struggling, and I hope that they have helped you. If you have your own tips or tricks that you use to keep everybody fed that are going to help this community, please include them in the comments below.